seeing the whole thing with Jim Acosta and the news and Trump calling people who are in the caravan criminals and an invasion force and all of these things really got me to thinking about another time when this happened in American history. It was called the Marielle Boatlift and it's a it's a Cuban sort of thing that happened where a bunch of people were allowed to leave Cuba and it was assumed amongst most of the people that a lot of the people who showed up were were the dregs of society and the 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 worst people that could be around and 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 all of these things that were pretty much pre-assumed before anybody even got to know anybody on these boats but what it actually turned out to be was a bunch of people who just were trying to escape a really really awful economic situation which is pretty much exactly the same thing that's happening right now with the caravan situation where everybody in all of the Latin countries in the southern regions are they're pre pretty much gang related war torn corrupt government areas where people can't survive anymore so they've decided to leave but I found uh, a you know a bunch of clips and things that I wanted to show you all from back in the day and from now just to sort of show you the similarities between people's reactions and 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 a lot of the times the differences between people's reactions to when people were coming from Cuba I mean people were 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 rushing with their boats to go help people leave these these communist areas and to come to America and they were happy to do it I mean they hundreds upon hundreds of people left in the yachts and 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 small craft fishing boats all kinds of things in order to make sure that these people got safely to the American shores but nowadays you don't even see that at all I mean if if that was true we should be seeing you know boats or <laughs> boats we should see buses and 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 planes and and all kinds of things headed down to help these people get into America <sighs> but with everything comes politics and politics rules all and you'll see also with other clips that I've shown where um, the president actually ends up telling people in 1980 go there use your boats help people get to America and then halfway back he sort of changes his mind and then ends up throwing a lot of people into court and fining a whole bunch of people for going into communist waters and bringing people back without proper you know papers or supervision and things so I mean there was a lot of politics that went along with that as well so I don't know but I have the uh, videos now but I'll, I'll show some of them now
<laughs> you don't hear what I got to say, because that won't be very nice. There ain't no doubt there was a few good people over to start with. But them that's over there now ain't nothing but queers and thugs. And anybody that would sponsor one has got to be crazier than hell. They should be shot themselves. Now that's exactly what I think. What if you open your door and one's standing there? We had a meeting up here and we had the sheriff down here. We asked him what our rights were. We don't have any rights, but they do. Where did they get rights? It, it's not safe for my kids to even be in my house. I've got so many old guns loaded up and scared to death every night to hear something and get up and look around. You're afraid you're gonna get <laughs> your throat cut while you're sleeping at night. And it's a shame that this town has been terrorized the way it has. Russia said that they would take the United States without ever firing a gun, and they're doing it right now. They've done it. Done. They've done it. Well, if you don't and, and we're before. sitting on our cans and doing nothing about it. Keep my gun huh? down and reach it all the time. not our person here not that don't now. keep his guns loaded. Right. Beverly, that's right. Everybody's got guns and got they loaded. You got more than one of them. Yeah, but how can one woman protect herself against five of them? You may shoot Have one of them. I've got one that'll pump five. That's all you need. We all agree that we don't want them, but what can we do to get rid of them? I think everybody here would want to chip in and buy a huge boat and send it back across, and I couldn't help it if it did get sunk. Well, what they ought to do is just take a little more of the taxpayers' money and uh, line up a few of these airplanes, load them on them, and, and take them over and drop them out. If they land in the water, like okay, or if they land on Cuba, okay. okay. I think that'd been the thing to have done. They shot them as they, as they came in, just gunned them down. Look at the people. Just Let's look at them. Turn it around and look at the whole bunch. Can you tell me they ain't some good people here in Gentle Inn? We wondered if the good people of Jenny Lynn were all that different from millions of other Americans, scared and threatened by the unknown, the foreign, and by people of another language and color. Three quarters of those now left in Chaffee were classified as non-white, whereas only a third of the entire boat lift population had been designated as such. In other words, most of those left would have to face discrimination in the United States because of color. Whatever their reasons for leaving Cuba, few of them, it seemed to us that night, were really prepared for what might await them beyond the borders of Chatham. But genuine differences between Little Havana and the new generation from Marielle were being obscured by a wave of violent crime. Robberies, homicides, and drug busts increased by 80% in Little Havana and by 60% throughout the Miami area. The Marielitos caught the blame. It sounds like a personal problem to me. You know yeah, they're refugees, definitely. And yeah, we have a lot of trouble with them around here. Ask him. We had a lock on that thing today. This afternoon. Not only were they denied due process, but like all the Marielle refugees, in or out of Chappie, they barely had rights at all. They, they don't have constitutional rights. Legally, these people are not in the United States. They're out there 30 miles out trying to get in. Does the president believe that undocumented immigrants have no due process rights whatsoever? Uh, virtually all Americans agree that it makes no sense that an illegal alien sets one foot on American soil and then they would go through a three to five year judicial process to be removed from the country. Thousands of illegal aliens are removed every month without seeing an immigration judge as a result of procedures in current law, including voluntary removal and expedited removal. 
Just because you don't see a judge doesn't mean you aren't receiving due process. But he's saying no judges, no court cases, so no opportunity to claim asylum, no opportunity to see if you have their cases heard before a judge. No, I, like I just said, just because you don't see a judge doesn't mean uh, you aren't receiving due process. What can I feel sorry for them? Who feels sorry for me? If I'm going to be wrapped or be dapped, who's going to feel sorry for me? You got in an ocean all kind of fish. You got bad and you got good. But before you take in a person in the country, you're supposed to know whom you're taking in. Because the people, they're confused. They don't know which one is good and which one is bad. Where Cubans took off from Cuba, this sort of a scene was very common. This is a capsized boat you're seeing. And uh, when people would be looking for more people's boats, they would see other people rowing their way out, just doing anything they can to try to escape the Castro regime at the time. can't exactly decide whether these people would be there to cheer people on or maybe try to get a ride from someone who may have a boat that they could maybe use to also get off the island. More people out there on their boats trying their way to get off. According to the numbers, more than 50,000 people tried the 80 mile journey on a boat trying to get off the island but only maybe 25 to 30,000 people supposedly showed up on tiny little rafts like that that just I mean it's almost laughable when you think about the type of waves that these things would have to be dealing with and they're out there <laughs> just trying to get away from someplace and when you think about it not you know 20 some odd years earlier there were people that were trying to to go get these people in boats I mean people jumped in their yachts they jumped in their their fishing boats and they went to go get people you know this this need to make these makeshift rafts that float up on sea with nobody on board anymore I mean people just taking scraps of anything just to make something that could float that might get them off of that island Thank you.